Welcome everybody to the stream block party. My name is Mr. S and today's episode is all about flight. So for today's lesson, we're going to build a paper airplane, actually two of them. And when you're flying anything, your biggest problem is gravity. Gravity is an invisible force that pulls things toward the earth. So when you throw a paper airplane, eventually it's going to fall back to the earth. Everything on earth is affected by gravity. Things that fly like birds or planes or drones, they're constantly fighting that downward pull of gravity, but they have something that, you know, lifts them up to fight it. So for a drone, that's a propeller, but for a plane, that's a wing. But if you were to just drop a paper airplane, it, it would just hit the ground. You have to throw a paper airplane and that's called thrust. So when you throw a paper airplane, the paper airplane will hopefully will fly until the thrust runs out and then gravity will take over and pull it to the ground. So we've got some activities. Number one, you're going to make two paper airplanes. Number two, we're going to measure and record some test flights. So you're going to throw the paper airplane and see how far it goes. And then there's some extra credit. We're using a website called Fold and Fly. I will put it in my YouTube notes and on Google Classroom. Uh, it shows you pictures of paper airplanes and you can also narrow that down by planes that go far or planes that are easy to make. And when you've made your two airplanes, you go outside, you've got your two planes. It's nice if you have a tape measure, but if you don't, don't worry about it. Some rocks are good. I just grabbed some rocks from my yard. Uh, that's coffee. You don't need coffee. So you take your airplane. You make sure you, you're going to mark where you throw it. You throw it. Then you grab one of your rocks. You go out and you mark how far it went. Then you grab your airplane. And you go do it two more times. So that way you do it three times total. Here's my second try. Whoa, it went in the bushes. So once you've thrown all three of your paper airplanes, you're going to measure how far they went. If you have the tape measure, use it. If you don't, you can use what's called kid feet. Here's how it works. You're going to take steps where your feet are touching. So you don't leave any space. And you're going to count how many steps it was to, to from where you threw the plane to where the plane landed. Okay, when you get done, you're going to mark it down. Now, you could just use a piece of paper, but if you want to use your iPad, you can use the Notes app. It's really easy. All you do is you open it up and create a new note. Then to add a table, just click the table button. Once you have that, you can write down plane one, plane two. You can add a row by hitting the three dots on the left. And then you will just put in how far your planes went on each throw. Don't forget, if you're using kid feet, make sure you mark kid feet. Don't put normal feet because that will be confusing. So once you get that all figured out, you could do the extra credit. Remember, the extra credit was to figure out some speed. Now here's how it works. To figure out speed, you have to know um, how far your plane went and how long it took to get there. So if you use the stopwatch app, you could throw your plane, hit start, and then, and then hit stop when it lands. You're going to need a friend for that. But that would give you how long your plane flew. And if you have the distance and the time that it flew, you can figure out speed. But I'm not going to tell you how to do it. This is extra credit. So figure out the speed. And that's it, guys. Make your planes, record your flights, 
And we're going to do another flight episode next week so we can talk more about it. And uh, I had a great time flying with you. This is the stream block party. My name is Mr. S. And have fun. Be safe. Fly some planes. We'll see you next week.